Shh. I'm recording. One life to live. Most of you are wondering, oh my god, we haven't seen a One Life to Live post from that genius, brilliant, sexy man Joshua in quite some time. Bullshit! Can it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here to finally report that I've been falling behind on my One Life to Live and finally caught up thanks to three or four uh, posts I was actually asking about if I missed today's episode. How can I watch today's episode? Um... I was trying to actually, before this, look up my old videos, which aren't that really old. They're not even a month old yet. But a lot of my videos a lot of my videos were all messed up. And yes, I know something just flashed in the screen. I saw it down here out of the corner of my eye. We'll ignore that for now. I'll kill her later. You're not even on screen. Someone's trying to off anyway. Yeah. So, One Life to Live... I wanted to say thank you to those people who suggested it. Put that out of the damn camera, seriously. It's not Folgers, it's keychains my retarded sister makes. They're interrupting my feed. But anyway, um, I got to watch Friday's episode and today's episode because, once again, I've, like I've said, I've, I've been missing my one life to live and had to catch up on all the episodes in one day, so I'm kind of one life to live hyped. But on the same note, I have something to say about the characters that surprises the hell out of me. I thought they were going to do some weird, stupid twist, like both of them were actually Todd Manning, but I'm still going with Scarface as a real Todd Manning. No matter what they write in the script, I might even write a fan fiction that says, screw you, Scarface is Todd Manning. The other Todd's an evil clone sent by Satan identical to take twins. over the world. And identical twins don't exist. Shut up. Clone's more fun. Identical twins could be anything but a clone. That is soap opera going down style. That didn't sound good. Going down as far as ending the show, you know what I mean. Anyway. Well, the show's going to end in January. Anyway. Also, to the Destiny fans out there, I'm sadly disappointed in her. Abortion? Really? And don't even post down below, Oh, you don't know what it's like to be a woman. You have a penis. We have the vaginas. We give birth to the babies. We're the ones who have to deal with the nine months of bloating and thinking we have to pee and sitting on a toilet and all this crap. Yeah, that, that's all outstanding. All I know is if I was a woman, I would keep my butt in the kitchen. I'm just joking. <laughs> Put down the gun, Mom. <laughs> I'm just joking. But, uh, you know, come on. You don't kill babies. You swap them. That's what soap operas are for. I guess they're going to do another All My Children, One Life to Live fusion. Because what's-her-name's baby was dead, stillborn, and the other lady with the abusive boyfriend and the situation. Anyway, back to One Life to Live. Two Todds, one soap. Sounds familiar, but less disturbing than the two girls one... Well, you know what I'm getting at. Anyway. Uh, Vicky was hilarious. The question Vicky asked, If he's Todd, who the hell are you? It was hilarious. Then it turns out he's another Todd, so. If they're both Todds, one's got to be a clone. I mean, because it could be identical twins. But I'm guessing clone, because clone would be more exciting than identical twins. That... And the funny ass, uh, the questions that were asked on Friday. And then she still shoves it right in Todd's face. What a little pain in the butt star is turning out to be. I mean, really? And then when he found out that the, uh, um, that she was, uh, she was a mom and he was a grandfather, that was funny. Who's the lowlife bastard that got you pregnant? All that. But one thing they really messed up on, and I have to point this out, being that why Todd's my favorite one like to live character, is Todd puts on like the tough dude front. Todd puts on, um, I can kick your ass any day of the week. But if anyone paid attention to, I, I, now I can't remember if it was Friday's episodes or Monday's episode because there was only two episodes, but I just loved it so Monday. much. Shh. Oh yeah, Monday. To, uh, supposed to be yesterday, um, when Todd was 
Now, Scarface Todd, you can genuinely see the, the, like, the remorse, the defeat in his eyes. The same look that the real Todd would give when talking about rape. The other Todd was pretty much just laughing his ass off at it. Todd wouldn't do that. Todd could barely look that woman in the eye, let alone bang her. And these were the years that I missed people. Because uh, shortly after, or before, 02, I stopped watching it. I caught a few episodes, but I really wasn't as adamant as watching it. I watched for like a whole year and a half back in 01. And then I, I, I slowed down, stopped, and then just stopped watching altogether. I, I haven't seen any episodes in 04, 05, 06, and 07, 08, 09, and last year. I just started watching it again. But I do know one thing, that if Todd would not make light of the rape situation, which the other Todd did, so I'm going to have to say shenanigans. Yes, I know. Everyone is a big fan of the Scarface Todd, and while I'm a big fan of his, if he had done that same thing, I'd have been like, screw you, shenanigans. Todd would not make light of it. Todd would not giggle. Todd would not smirk. Todd would have that same um, half, I think I just shot my own kid in the face, depressed, sad, lonely, creepy look in his eye. Well, not my own kid in the face, but just shot a kid and killed a kid. You know, like everyone would have that natural, uh, a kid is dead, except for Casey Anthony. But anyone would have that look. And that's, that's the look, that's the time. It's the, you know, just like the defeated, the I'm about two seconds from death, drained of life look that Todd always, always gave whenever that was even brought up. And this new Todd even gave that at the beginning of his, um, no, he actually never gave that look. So I don't know, maybe it's the actor or it's in the script that he's not supposed to give 100%. That way it still creates the illusion that he's not the real Todd, and they're going to come out that he's the real Todd. But still, I'm going to repeat myself for the thousandth time in this video. Actually, more like the fifth or sixth. Shenanigans. Maybe I just want the other Todd to be the real Todd. And poor John is focused so much on blood tests that he himself said blood tests are often tampered with and messed up at their lab, yet he won't have the freaking Liam test redone. And he said it in yesterday's episode. Blood tests are often screwed up. Retest, dude! And I know this is getting annoying, but I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it because it's fun. It looks like little two bunnies are surrounding me. I'm surrounded by cuteness. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it's 4.49 right now, and I'm kind of hyper. Plus, I'm still, I'm still anxious about One Life to Live today because I'm actually doing a countdown right now because it's Two minutes until five, and you know what that means, people, right? That means it's nine hours and two minutes until one life to live again. That and ABC actually has all the episodes. If you go to ABC, then you put in one life to live, but don't do that. Don't Google it and put that because then it takes you right to a bunch of other episodes, which is like The Bachelorette and that crap. Go to Google one life to um, ABC, One Life to Live, and then click that link as soon as it shows it. It'll show all the old episodes. Not to mention that, it'll show best moments. So thank you to the people who told me that on my uh, other videos. Um, it's awesome. I actually watched um, a few videos before I watched the two shows today. I watched favorite Todd moments, favorite um, Vicky moments, and then there's couples moments, which... Um, uh, uh, when, what's his name, and Dorian first hooked up, uh, the hell's his name, um, shit, what is his name now, now, now I forgot, but David. when, the, David, thank you, Megan, uh, when Dave Vickers and Dorian first took up, shit. hooked up, <coughs> yeah, she just said shit, no, I, I know soaps, I know soaps, they're cool, anyway, but I got to see that and a bunch of other stuff, um, but there's not many likes on it. So I'm thinking you get a crap load of likes on it, they'll make it its own little website. And we can all participate in that. Plus all the classic moments of my last video. I actually wrote down the person's name. Uh, Lucas Scott 485 for posting on the best Todd moments are on YouTube. I looked those up and saw crap load of Todd moments. Awesome Todd moments. The real Todd. Anyway. Still wondering when poor Brody... I mean, not poor Brody. That scumbag Brody is going to reveal that he's not really the father of Liam. That bastard. Anywho. Uh, out for now.
I'm definitely going to post later on today because I'm going to want to know the conclusion of how the hell there are two Todds, one Silk, and when they're going to figure out that Leanne is really, what's his name's son? Oh, and Dorian, not Dorian, um, Nora, another big disappointment before I forget that. We have to talk about that for about 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Nora, we know that, um, ah, I keep name dropping people. Matthew, thank you, other random person from behind the camera. Matthew is in a coma, but he did shoot somebody's father. Regardless, that guy was a dickhead or not. His son, insert name, whatever, um, may have uh, may have you know gone to jail for that for a while. I mean, he spent two weeks in jail, and Bo's right. You can't blame the dude for that. He thought Matthew was okay, which I do agree that some some punishment is in order. But let's not send the dude to jail or press criminal charges on him for an assault thing when he's the one who mur when um, Matthew murdered somebody. So we really can't throw uh, rocks when you're living in a glass house. Bad, Nora. Bad, Nora. You should know better. You're a district attorney. You worked for the state at one point. I don't know if you're still the district attorney. She's still the district attorney. Now you're the district attorney again. Because I remember there was... There was another dude that was district attorney, and another dude before that, and then it was her. So she's district attorney again. You're supposed to be upholding law. That's right, because she was trying to press charges on the guy, and she knew he was innocent. No, she didn't know. Of course she knew. No, she didn't know. When yes, she knew. I knew she knew. She knew she knew, and she knew I knew she knew I knew she knew. If you get confused, so did I. I just went cross-eyed. Anyway, that's all. We're already going towards 12 minutes. Uh... Holla if you like one life to live. Peace out, Holmes.